Are you sick and tired of setting goals and never reaching them? In this video, I'm going to cover with you all the things you can do to make the process of reaching that goal easier. Hello, this is Gabriel Julier on Reverse Engineering Your Success. In this series of video, I cut your dream life in a bunch of steps that we are all going to analyze in order to reach it more easily. Don't forget to subscribe and to check the bell notification if you don't want to miss any new videos of this playlist and from my channel in general. You are maybe wanting to do big things. You see some people living from their passion, traveling a lot and all the stuff that makes you dream. And you are thinking, why not me? Why can I not doing that? Actually, let me cover a few points so you can understand more how to get to this place you want to be. First, the lifestyle of these people that you are maybe seeing on social media or wherever is something which is really particular. Not a lot of people are able to do that. So, in order to have a particular, a special lifestyle, you have to be special, to do special things. In other words, to be a part of the 1%, you have to do what the 99% don't. And trust me, life won't get easier. It's you that becomes stronger. In order to reach that goal, that dream life, you have to have the right mindset in order to reach it and to be at 110% into what you are willing to do. Are you determined enough? Do you really want to reach that goal, that dream? Tell me in the comments if so. Now that we set everything in point, let me show you the few things that you can use to stick to your goal. For now, two are going through my mind. First is to love yourself, what you do, and trusting in the system you are wanting to be. How could you reach that goal if you are not believing in the fact that you can do it? I think this is pretty much impossible to do it if you're not believing in yourself and if you are not loving what you do too. You have to understand that this is a long-term game. If you're not capable of doing it for a few years at least, don't do it. And the second thing I want to talk with you about is that because it is a long-term game, you have to make in a sort that your short-term game is, is going to the same direction as your long-term game. Let me explain more in details what it means. It goes together with the video where I talk about daily habits. I put your card right there so you can check it out. Basically, what you should have is daily habits, short-term things or goals that are going into the same way, the same direction as your long-term goal. For instance, my goal is to give you daily content of my life and take whatever you want in order to implement it to yours and to improve overall. In order to do that, I have to be more confident on camera. So how could I do? N right now, my micro goal is to do more stories to stay in touch with you guys. Moreover, it will help me to get more confident on camera. That way, the content I will give you in the future will be much more entertaining and will take more pleasure to while watching it. So. Here, you don't want to focus on the next month, the next year, but on the next 3, 5, 10 years. Question of the day, is this video helped you to start reaching your end goal? Tell me in the comments your answer. I hope you've liked this video. If so, don't forget to put a like or a dislike if you didn't like it. Moreover, share this video with a friend or someone you know that could benefit from it. And don't forget, again, to check the bell icon and to subscribe if you want to not miss any new videos. I see you on the next one.